Wheeler's restaurant has come a long way in just two years. It first opened as a market and small eat-in and take-out restaurant featuring local food. And this past April, it expanded to provide more of a dining experience with a bar and a tap room. Joining me now is the general manager, Mike Latronica, and chef Rob Latronica. You guys are brothers, right? We are. Fair to actually. say. Yeah. Um, it, Mike, tell me a little bit about the restaurant, why people want to come check it out. Well, we have um, a lot of the freshest food around. Um, like my brother had mentioned previously, you know, we're very transparent with where we get stuff. So uh, a lot of local farms. Farms, a lot of organic type stuff, heirloom, um, meats, and uh, uh, really fresh fish. So. Sure. And I know we kind of have we have a, a big meal we're making today. So yeah. why don't I have you get going? You're making a uh, sea bass. Yep. It's a, it's a bronzino, so it's a European style sea bass. Okay. Um, oh, excuse me. Real sure. Quick. And so the first step for doing this is you season both sides of your fish. Okay. And you have the yeah. oven preheated, or? Yep. I got the. Well, actually, this is broiled. That's broiled. actually the okay, best so part about be this quick, dish. Right? It's nice and easy. It's light for the summer. Perfect. So you season the fish up, you oil it very well. So I got a, a one I already prepped up right here. Perfect. And so I'm just going to get that popped in the oven, skin side up. That's key. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. And we're going to make a panzanella salad. What does that entail? It's oh. actually an Italian style bread salad. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very simple to make. It's got tomatoes, onions, uh, a little dressing, and uh, day old bread. All right. Well, how do we get started? So the first <laughs> thing I want you to do is just uh, you're putting me to work. Up, chop up that tomato right there. I got oh, some that shredded was a pepper. It's a tomato. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's actually a blue, beautiful. That's a local heirloom. Oh, it's lovely. Um, yeah. Am I cutting it the right way? Like, actually, here, watch. If you're, you flip them, <laughs> you're like, no, you're absolutely not. <laughs> no, no, there's a way easier way. See? <laughs> Show me. Go yes. to the flesh side, and then you just push right through. So you get a much nicer, cleaner. Cut oh, we want way. big chunks. Oh right, well, like not quite. And then okay. what we'll do is we'll split them in half, and then split them like that. See, aren't you glad you asked me to help? Easy peasy. <laughs> All right, oh, sounds I good. I love teaching. It's easy. <laughs> so then the next step to the to the bronzino is you just pop your saute pan on high. Okay. However, this magical thing works. There you go. All right. Oh, you're cooking with steam. <laughs> you know it. And then we're going to use a little bit of fresh uh, extra virgin olive oil right here. Okay. Is this something we'd find on your menu? Oh yeah, absolutely. We actually, our chef Heath Klarsfeld designed this dish specifically for the summer because oh, it emphasizes a lot of light flavors. It's the really delicate fish. Mm -hmm. It's really, really easy, healthy, bright. It's uh, one of the most popular dishes. I was going to ask you, yeah, what do people love when they come in? Um, this is definitely one of them. Um, our P, uh, Prince Edward Island mussels are um, another are great, right? really, popular really popular dish. Uh, our burger, um, which we actually brought one here. Uh, if you guys yeah, that is a later. big burger. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's people okay. love that too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we have a lot of stuff ranging from, you know, comfort food like mac and cheese with uh, crawfish, burgers, and then light or stuff like this, which uh, everybody loves. You don't loves, find so. crawfish up here too often. That's great. No, it's uh, kind of interesting. Everybody is lobster, but we kind of tried to change it up a little bit. Got it. So Can I have those tongs, please, Michael? Absolutely. All right, Thank so we're putting some much. greens in there. A little olive oil in the pan? Yep, just a little extra virgin olive oil. And then you really just want to lightly saute it. You don't want to cook it down too much. You don't want to get any color on the, the spinach at all. OK. So what I usually do is I get it hot, and I just very lightly wilt it all together. Do you want these tomatoes in yeah, here? Please. <laughs> Now you don't need too many because the base of it is mostly the roasted cherry tomatoes that we have right over there. Right there. Okay. Yep. And I'm gonna put this big knife down okay. so nobody gets hurt. <laughs> That's not a knife. Some of those onions there too. We can chop a couple of those. Okay. Yeah. Too work. many onions. Too many. Just too many bit. onions. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. That looks good. And right. uh, we're while we're cooking here, Mike, tell us a little bit about the new bar tap room. Um, well, we uh, we kind of try to go a little bit different. We uh, we have eight beers on tap, um, pretty much all from like local breweries, mm -hmm. uh, New England, New York, uh, a couple from Pennsylvania, um, and our wine list is a little bit esoteric, not stuff that you would necessarily oh, find uh, everywhere. <laughs> um, but uh, a lot of interesting stuff and a lot of really affordable stuff too. So there's a lot of things that you might um, have never tried before, never heard of, but mm -hmm. you know you'll like. So great. You brought some sampling down there, right? Yep, we have, uh, you have wine, course. beer, a little bit of everything. We do, we do. Well, it's a party afterwards, right? Oh, yeah, that's what we do here on Connecticut Style. <laughs> um, this is one of our, our local breweries from Brantford. It's called oh, Thimble right. Island Brewery. Yeah. We just brought them in um, last week. That's one of the best beers in Connecticut, actually. Says you? Says everybody. <laughs> Says everybody. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we have all sorts of good stuff like that. So. Great. So. All right, so that's cooking up. Yep, well, the key with this, we use this beautiful ruby spinach, but there's only one problem to it is that just like a beet, Mm -hmm. Bleeds all over the plate, so ah. you got to make sure you take off all that oil and just let it see it bleeds I see, out. Yeah, but you don't want that running all over the plate. You got to eat with your eyes and your mouth. You That's know? true. Do you guys get along? Do you work together every day? No, we together? hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, it seems like you get along. It seems like a fun place to visit. Yeah, I mean it's it's fun. 
Well, we've been doing this for years together. We used to actually do catering together as well. I gotcha. Yeah, so. You and it's such an easy location. I mean, if you're coming from New Haven or if you're even coming from the Valley area, it's uh, it's simple, right down 63. Yeah, I mean, it's right right there, right right past the Merritt if you're coming from New Haven. Um, literally, uh, we have our, you know, uh, off-street parking, so it's great um, and easy to get to. Very good. All right, uh, all the information's up there on the screen. Wheeler's Restaurant Tap Room's located at 180 Amity Road in Woodbridge. You can call 203-553-9055. Or visit wheelers-newhaven.com for all the information. And Chef, we're going to let you finish this up. See, now you get this really nice crispy skin. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yep. And it's all descaled, so it's all the skin is totally edible. Great. Yep, which is, in my opinion, the best part of the whole thing. So. <laughs> All right, so the last step with our panzanella is really easy, actually. We just take I'm assuming you have to add some bread, right? We do. And so the best thing to use is actually the stalest bread you got. Mm -hmm. So if you got something sitting, you know, on the counter that's just really dried out, that's mm -hmm. the best one to use. Um, and so you just take it up into nice little cubes. All right, we have about 20 seconds left. Oh, well, i got to get down the plate then. Looks good. Bread goes in there. I'm sure it absorbs the dressing, and it's well, wonderful. Exactly, and that's why you want it stale, because otherwise it's just going to get soggy. You don't want that. Okay. So then this is a little vinaigrette. It's got some Dijon mustard, a little Banyol's vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, orange juice. Okay. Um, and obviously salt and pepper. So I'm going to adjust this whole thing up. Ready? So you give it a nice little stir around. And now you take your panzanella, grab it up. It goes up. right on the plate? Right yep, oh, it goes beautiful. right on top right there. <laughs> Looks good. And do you put the fish right on there too? Oh yeah, exactly. And you get them alongside each other so they look like nice little happy swimming fishes. <laughs> uh, Very good. Well, right. this looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I can't wait to dig in. We can't wait for <laughs> you to try.